The use of candles in spellcraft is almost a given. I mean, um, names or words can be inscribed thereupon with a magic dagger. The candles are selected based on their color. This distinguishes the energetic qualities that they vibrate. And we talked about um, color in a past, past lesson. Um, they're charged with an intention uh, representation prior to their actual use in the spell. Um, based on the color, and uh, so this may or may not need to be done in ritual. Um, even the selection of the candle in a magic shop or whatnot, everything that goes into it, all the intentional um, acts involved are pretty much part of the magical act. When a candle is lit in spellcraft, it represents a concept of focal interest. Um, an intention is often spoke out loud after lighting the candle. This aids focus. The affirmation identifies the goal of using the tool in the ritual. If an implement is not aiding the mind, then it's a distraction and it needs to be removed. Um, in, when we talked about the steps of the spells, the lighting, the use of candles and spellcraft is simple because the lighting and affirmations just need to be added to the basic spell format between steps two and three. Uh, spells are usually begun on the evening, most appropriate, if you're using uh, you know, magical timing. Uh, you can use the attributes of the natural forces for this. Uh, although it's not required, spells can be performed three or seven uh, days slash nights uh, in succession. Uh, you may also wish to work within a particular lunar phase uh, if, again, you're working with the, the natural forces uh, methodology. Um, in ritual, the sorcerer is the center of the magical universe as of the microcosm. So, in Therefore, on the altar and candle magic, the central candle should be representative of you. And then all the other candles are added to supplement your own power, abilities, reality, etc., of the world that you're influencing. It is for this reason that performing magic for others, as um, if it's something out of your own interest, it can be difficult. However, that's not to say that spells cannot affect others or be done for others, absolutely. So, um, if the spell is meant to affect another person or... Um, ideal in, in particular, then uh, you can use that with by indicating it with a candle and representing it with a candle. Um, and in the forthcoming lesson, we'll just discuss some examples of uh, common uh, mind magic candle spells.